the whole purpose of this was just to come to um oh. Hi guys, uh, this morning, the day after Boxing Day, I brought you to a local village of Woodmanston in Surrey. It lies just on the southern slope of the North Downs, bordering Wallington, Coulston and Chipstead. I just want to say a little bit about the history of this uh, little hamlet. Let's come along. This is really nice, it's like a community garden. I imagine people who live in the village can just come along and uh, plant stuff and sit down and chill out. Artifacts have been found in the village uh, dating right back to Neolithic times, right up to Anglo-Saxon period. So there's been a settlement here for a long, long, long time. The Doomsday Book of 1086. It's Woodmanston is pronounced Oda Merestor. Oda Merestor. Odor meaning wood or glade, and the tor at the end meaning high ground. If you think of Glastonbury Tor, high ground. So yeah, Oda Merestor. There's some nice walking trails around here. Um, one goes up to Banstead and round, loops round, and the other one is called the Sutton Countryside Walk, which I've done a few times. That's a bit misleading. I don't know why they call it the Sutton Countryside Route, as it really goes around Woodcote, so it really should be the Woodcote Countryside Route, which is quite interesting. And um, as you walk round uh, the Woodcote part, there's a really interesting uh, old council boundary marker from the turn of the 1900s, late 1899 I think it is. Uh, and you can see that, that's really interesting. Of course, Woodmanston and down at Oaks Park, famous for the Mayfield lavender fields. Lavender was a huge industry around this area up until the uh, outbreak of the World Wars, when massive urban expansion basically wiped out a lot of the um, original fields. Especially over in Rose Hill, or <coughs> uh, over in Rose Hill, and places like that. The Mayfield Lavender Field is actually one of the original plots where they did uh, lavender back in the day, when it was a huge industry. So uh, yes. So yeah, these are the fields around Woodmanston. Here's a bit of trivia. Both Charles Dickens and the artist John Constable visited here quite frequently as they had friends in the village and would stay over quite a few times. I've said this before, I mean, imagine this 100 years ago little village, now the sprawl of suburbia has really kicked in. Loads of new builds from probably the 1930s onwards, I would say, especially down in no Chipstead Way. Just coming into St Peter's Church, I wanted to show you the Lich Gate, which is dedicated to uh, victims of the Great War. Really nice. I think it's quite a modern Lich Gate.
St Peter's Church was built in 1877, so it's Victorian, and replaced a much earlier building, which they said could have gone back to the 9th century. Now, even though it's Victorian, it's not a listed building, because the architect was an arch architect of no real repute, so he didn't have... He said, who's he? That's quite sad, really. <laughs> Then you've got a sort of road there, it's not a main road, but it's con constant traffic obviously as it goes down to Banstead or down to Coulsdon. I also remember shooting one of my very first amateur movies back in the day, uh, around 1991 and 1992 we shot loads of scenes around Woodmanston, as it was meant to be the village of Bedbury in the West Country, this little science fiction epic we did. <laughs> Curiouser and curiouser. Well, there you have it, just a quick tour around Woodmanston. The whole purpose of this is just look for a, a town or a village somewhere near you. Just go and research a little bit, see some of the history. You might just drive through a particular road, particular village, particular town, but look into the uh, history behind it, and it can always conjure up something rather fascinating. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment and uh, we'll see you next time.